Hey, this is Pastor Jurgen, and welcome to Connect Group. I'm so thrilled that you're here tonight. Our Connect Group hosts some of the best people in our church, and I know you're in great hands and in for a great, great night. We're looking at the character of God. Most people, in fact, 94% of people believe in some form of God, some type of God, but just believing in God doesn't make you a Christian. The devil believes in God, and he definitely ain't a Christian. So we need to go beyond just believing in God. God actually wants us to know Him. And uh, when you begin to know Him is when you begin to discover who He is and what He is like. Uh, there are many, many thoughts and theories about God, but uh, I believe that this, this book here and uh, these scriptures will help us to see what kind of a God God is and uh, help you to know Him. And it's an exciting study the character of God. What is God really like? Is He a God who is an impersonal force? Is He a God who is vengeful and spiteful? Is He a God who is uncaring? Is He a God who is uh, ignorant of, of our struggles and our weaknesses? Is He a God who is so transcendent that He no longer or doesn't care, didn't ever care, that, that, that man has desired that there's a God who cares, but He created the universe and has kept separate and distant ever, still, ever since. The most magnificent thing about the Bible, my friends, is the Bible is a collection of 66 books written over the space of a couple of thousand years. And as a couple of thousand years, thousands and thousands of miles apart of human beings who have first-hand experience of this one God. Many years ago I heard of a uh, study that was done where they programmed all 66 books of the Bible into a computer and then ask the computer how many authors authored these 66 books, thinking it would come out to around about 40, which is how many people wrote the different books of the Bible. But uh, the computer didn't spit out 40, didn't spit out 66, didn't even spit out 30. The computer spat out one. That the 66 books of the Bible were authored by one author because of the consistency in not just the content, but also in the character subject that they were speaking about, the living God. So tonight I want to talk to you about the character of God. Many people say that God is love. And so I want to read to you from the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 16. And this is what it says. It says, And we have not believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. God is a God who reveals Himself in the Scriptures as a God of love. In 1 Corinthians 13 it says, If I speak with the tongues of men and angels, but have not love, I've become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can understand and fathom all kinds of mysteries, and have all knowledge and have all faith so that I can move mountains, but I have not love, I have nothing. Though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long, is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up. Love does not behave rudely, nor does it seek its own. It's not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. And then it goes on. One of the most awesome things about this passage of Scripture is substitute the word love for the word God. If I was to give all my possessions to the poor and let my body be burnt, not have love, not have God, it's all a waste. God suffers long. God is kind. God does not envy. God does not parade himself, is not puffed up. He doesn't behave rudely. God does not seek his own. God is not provoked. He doesn't think evil. Nor does God rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. God believes all things, bears all things, hopes all things, endures all things. God never fails. And I want you to know that God is love. 
that love is God. God loves you when you're good, God loves you when you're bad, and God loves you when you're downright rotten, because God doesn't have love. The, the scripture never says that God has love. The scripture always says God is love. He cannot stop loving you. He loves you. You may have heard the turn or burn preachers telling people that they are going to go to hell. Tragically, there are people who will end up in hell. Your job and my job is to get people out of that collision course with hell, get them off that, that highway that is so broad and, and so wide that leads to destruction. But let me tell you this, when people go to hell, they will not go to hell with God smiling, saying they deserve it. They will go to hell with God heartbroken that no matter what He tried, no matter how many times He tried to reach out to them, they rejected the salvation that He provided. They rejected His Son, the, the offering of His Son on the cross. They rejected God's advancements. They rejected God's love. They rejected the Holy Spirit came to them time and time and time again, yearning, beckoning, drawing them towards Him. They rejected and, and God will be weeping knowing that these people, He designed them to live with Him. God did not design the, the, the uh, hell for humanity, for human habitation. The Bible says that hell was prepared for the devil and for his angels, not, not for, for mankind. So God is a God of love. He is a loving God. So tonight I'd love for you to just begin to chat and search through the scriptures. Maybe you have a scripture that God has revealed to you and the Bible is full of them about how loving God is and how much God loves you. The most famous scripture in all the world is John 3.16. I'm not going to quote it. Some of you should be able to quote it. Why don't you re read that scripture, quote that scripture, and then tonight talk about how you know that God is a God of love or is God a God of love. I'm going to leave you with that in the capable hands of our Connect host. You're going to have some great discussion and some great discovery. I'm Pastor Jurgen. I'm looking forward to seeing you in church this Sunday. God bless you.